We've all seen those weird, wacky hacks on social media that are so bad, I honestly go from confusion to admiration because how do you even think of this? So I thought I would put my own twist to it and try viral TikTok study or productivity hacks and see if they actually work. I will try them out, say the pros and cons, ways to improve them, then rate the TikTok hacks out of 10. I'm thinking of making this a series, so if you besties see any study, productivity hacks, tips, schedules, or even gadgets that you want me to try, be sure to tag me in all of my accounts and I'll be sure to try them. Let's start with reacting to the first TikTok. So this TikTok has 1.1 million views and 172,000 likes. It's talking about a better way to use flashcards. And the creator, Study With Liz, says that she uses the Lightner system to revise them. Basically, you start off with doing the flashcards like usual, then you separate them according to three stacks. I'll explain more later when we try this study tip together. But first, let's go get some flashcards. <laughs> The first stack are flashcards that you're confident about, followed by flashcards you're vaguely familiar with, and then finally flashcards with information that you don't understand or remember. Let's talk about some expectations on how I think this study hack will go. So I actually agree with Study with Liz on how she said that we tend to prefer studying topics that we're already familiar with because that's easier. So sorting the flashcards into groups will really help us prioritize our weaker concepts. However, I must say that I am concerned about how long this is going to take because I used to do flashcards all throughout high school. And the main issue that I had with them was that they took too long for my liking. However, However, I have never tried separating them into groups and studying them periodically. So, we'll see how that goes. Hi besties, so I'm at uni and it's currently 5pm. So we're gonna see how much we can get done in one hour. I'm gonna start making flashcards for my immunology lectures. So I actually managed to complete one entire lecture, which is much faster than I thought. So this process didn't take as long as I thought, but you have to consider the fact that I already have my notes made. So this is essentially just another round of note taking and I haven't started any memorization yet. So I'm going to revise these and then separate them according to the three piles that the creator suggested. Also, 56% of you watch my videos but aren't subscribed, so feel free to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. It's free and it helps our family grow. I did this flashcard technique for 3 days because my exam was in 3 days, and I have to say I loved how organized I was. The flashcards were a physical reminder that I had to focus on revising the most challenging concepts first, followed by addressing the less confident ones in my iffy pile. Now, let's go through the cons of this TikTok hack. Flashcards promote rote memorization, meaning you'll be able to recall information really well after using them but struggle to apply or explain the facts. Additionally, as you saw, making flashcards manually just takes too much time. I can't imagine making flashcards for all my subjects because there's just too much literature to go through. So I'd rate this study hack a... 7 out of 10, and in order to make it to a 10 out of 10, I'd recommend using AI to help you make the flashcards and save you a bunch of time. I've explained in a recent video how you can use an AI like Grammarly's to find gaps in your essays and even cite for you, and you can check it out here. But you can also use Grammarly to help you make flashcards. I just highlight the section of my notes that I want to make flashcards on, click on Grammarly, then type I want to make flashcards for this section of my notes. Craft a few questions for me and click enter. Just go to Google Docs, create a table, then paste all the questions and answers that were provided. Now I can just cover one side of the page to test myself. If you're a student, you should also know that you can use Grammarly to brainstorm topics for your assignments or help you with the initial outline of your essay. Grammarly's AI Assistant is completely free for you to use, so I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to sign up and download at grammarly.com slash fayfilms10. You can get Grammarly Premium at 20% off using the same link. I hear your concerns about the use of AI, so I'll always advocate for the responsible use of it. And you can check how you've been using it in your work by clicking this prompt here. Let's move on to the next viral TikTok hack. 
So this one I've been tagged a lot in. Basically, you light the candle and keep studying until it goes out. And from the TikToks that I saw, this can take hours. So I've decided to ask Eve to accompany me to try this motivational tip. And I don't have a candle, so let's go buy one together. So, <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to Spotlight to get a candle for this TikTok hack. Mm. Yeah, I explained it to her that we're supposed to study until the candle runs out. Uh -huh. She's a bit concerned about the time length. Because we're doing this indoors and there's no wind here, so the candle will not die. If it goes above 4 hours, I'm going home. <laughs> So we are at Spotlight and we're noticing that they're already bringing out the Christmas decorations so I'm hoping that they have candles here. Variety. I think we found the candle section. Oh, six hours? Is there anything skinnier? I'm not doing that with you. <laughs> Top hours. How about this? 8.5 hours? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so far we settled on this one which has a 6 hour burn time. But hopefully we find some, something that's like shorter. This says it has a 5 hour burn time. But this has a 6 hour burn time and it's skinnier. <laughs> I don't know about you but the mat is not matting in my head. Yay, mission accomplished. Why are you so big? I got these plates to put the candles on so I don't burn down my home. So the price of the paper plate and the candle came up to about $30. So here's our experience with this productivity hack. The first issue actually popped up right away. It's not really a con, it's just a skill issue. <laughs> if I asked our, my mom, our mom, we've asked, mom <laughs> we've asked my mom to help us light the candles because we're scared of fire. Eve and I were too scared to use the lighters, so I had to ask my mom to light it for me. Also, please, if you're going to attempt this productivity candle thing, do not light your candle near any paper or curtains because many of you besties send me videos of you studying along with my study with me video. And even though it's so cute, your desks, there are a lot of papers lying around, so just be cautious of that. I think we'll check in every hour to see how we're feeling. This was honestly so fun. The visual of the candle just slowly going down like that really gave us the motivation to continue studying for a really long time. <gasps> Look at this! Hey, it went down a lot! Yeah. The candle has burned down so much mm. in the second hour. It's actually fun. It's actually really fun. I also really recommend doing this with a friend to make it a challenge. Eve is writing a haunted story for her assignment. <laughs> So if you see the candle flickering, then please write your essay outside. <laughs> How's the progress with your essay? Your essay has to be 1,600 words, right? Mm -hmm. 879. That's good. That's really good. If I were to do this motivational hack again, I'll definitely set specific goals that I want to accomplish by the end of the session. That way, we'll be more focused on completing our tasks than just staring at the candle. The candle hasn't even like gone down halfway. Actually? Wait, what are you talking about? Okay, we use math, right? Yeah. It was one hour, right? Mm -hmm. One hour has only been... One inch. <laughs> I don't like that. That looks like at least like seven, seven more hours. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. The main issue that I have with this hack is that there are no room for breaks. So I'd recommend pairing this candle challenge with another time management technique like the Pomodoro just to keep things manageable. So you just study for 15 minutes and then take 10 minute breaks in between. I think the no break thing is a bit harsh. Yeah. Because you helped me with the plot basically, right? Mm -hmm. Of your assignment? Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised you took the idea though. Sorry, me too. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? You think my idea was bad? Eve and I felt so tired even though we're used to studying for long periods of time. So I'd rate this challenge an 8 out of 10. If you've made it this far, comment down below if you prefer going on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok for study tips. Remember to tag me on any video or post with tips or gadgets that you want me to try. Like this video, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thank you for 1,060,000 subscribers and I'll see you all in my next video, besties. Bye!